two dietary changes help in easing out the effects of the rheumatoid arthritis? Well, uh, that's a very relevant question and a very good question to ask. I tell you why. Most of the research these days are centered around uh, non-pharmacological aspects of rheumatoid arthritis. What causes rheumatoid arthritis and what are the non-pharmacological treatments of rheumatoid arthritis and dietary part of it is one of the biggest areas of research right now. Well, I won't be pessimistic, but I'll be brutally honest with you. Diet won't cure your rheumatoid arthritis, nor there is any demonstrable link between diet, a problematic diet leading to rheumatoid arthritis or a good diet curing rheumatoid arthritis. So there is no demonstrable link. But since rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory disease, as I previously mentioned, there are certain kinds of food which helps in fighting inflammation. When you talk about fish like salmon and tuna, they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. So they are very good when it comes to fighting inflammation. Oh. Rheumatoid arthritis uh -huh. is very much uh, linked to depletion of calcium. It causes depletion of calcium. And especially considering uh -huh. Indian scenario and Indian population, it leads to depletion of calcium much more quickly because India is one of the world's capital in osteoporosis also. So then dairy foods like milk, butter, ghee, etc. It helps, it helps a lot in improving the calcium stores in the body. Okay. Then you talk uh -huh. about Mediterranean diet, which is researched nowadays, which yes. principally has yes. olive oils and grains. Yes. That is very good yes. as far as rheumatoid arthritis is concerned. Then beans, nuts, they are good in fibers. Fibers always are good when it comes to dietary aspect. Vitamin C, a lot of research is centered around vitamin C these days. Considering COVID, vitamin C and zinc are one of the diet you should take to improve your immunity and prevent COVID. That is also very good in rheumatoid arthritis.